Hey guys and welcome. So tonight is the night of November 30th and this marks the end of No Shave November which I've been participating in except for a few little shaves uh, here at my cheeks and my, uh, my neck down here. Um, but tonight I'm going to be finally taking this all off except for a mustache. I'm really excited to do that. I really do like growing out my beard. Um, I like it a lot. I like how it looks. But I also really love shaving. I've really been missing it this past month. There's just so many awesome products I have that I want to be using. And um, I love reviewing those, trying new stuff, making videos. So I've really been missing out on that. So I'm really excited to get this shave uh, going tonight and getting back to shaving. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get things started um, for today's razor for my beard removal. I'm going with my straight razor. It's kind of developing into a tradition for me. Um, every year I do No Shave November and I usually use this to take off the beard. This is my Dovo Inox Olive Wood. It's a 5 8 full hollow ground straight razor. Um, olive wood scales on here, really, really beautiful. And you guys missed it, I just dropped uh, before I started the video. So this razor is ready to go. And I'm not going to be using this for the full shave. I'm going to do the first layer, taking off all the hair with this. Then I'm going to switch to a safety razor just because my skin um, isn't used to shaving every day and my straight razor skills aren't that great. That's something I want to be working on in the future. Um, but I just don't want to go through uh, all the time and effort to get a bad shave today. So I'm going to use this to take down the hair for the first pass because there's really no other razor in the world as good as a straight razor for taking off a lot of facial hair right away. So I'm using that first pass and go into my safety razor. Alright, for today's shaving brush, which was soaking, I'm going with the Finest Badger 24mm from Razor Rock. You can see that there. Beautiful barber style handle on this. And uh, not too funky. It's a little funky when I got it, but I think I've got pretty much all the funk out. I haven't used this a ton. And for today's shaving soap, I'm going with Phoenix Arzen Accoutrements Gondolier. Love this soap, incredible performance, and this might be my favorite scent from PAA. Really nice, clean, sharp scent to it. It smells like a really nice, refined, clean up, cleaned up like axe scent to it. I know that that's not the best description, uh, but it's beautiful scent. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead here. This uh, puck was blooming while I was in the shower. I'm going to take the bloom water and add it to my face. There we go, just adds a really nice layer of hydration and soap. It's a really good uh, base to build the lather on, at least I think it is. I'm just filling up my sink here with some hot tap water, just add some of that hot water to the brush, bring it out, and it'll load up. PAA, they make a softer soap. It's uh, not as soft as Katie's Bubbles, but it's definitely softer than like Barrister and Man. Um, so it doesn't really take too much effort to load plenty up here, and you really don't need much of their soap. You can see tons of soap there already. And clean off my puck and set it up over here dry. And go in with my face lather. This brush for being a 24 millimeter knot really has a lot of size to it. There's a lot of hairs in here. You can see it's a big brush and with this handle. It uh, handles really nicely um, just lathering up here. It's, uh, it's a beautiful brush. Works great. I really do like it. I thought it would be good today because uh, just the size of the knot on there would hold plenty of lather because I'm going to be using a lot of lather. I always do when I use my straight. Alright. It's about as good as I'm going to do here through my beard. I don't know if I can call this a beard. I don't know what makes the cutoff of a, uh, a beard. This is a month. Um, it's getting there. I guess it's a uh, facial hair. Maybe a beard at this point. Alright. Picking up the straight. It has been a long time since I've used this thing. I'm going to add just a little bit of alum here and dry off my hands. Alright. I'm going to start here on the right side of my face. Razor in my right hand. I'm going to get going. Look at that, so fast.
Stray razors are incredible for this. All right, I think that looks good for this half of my face. I'm gonna switch to the left side, and for that you put the razor in your left hand. It's always important to stretch your skin too when you're using a straight razor. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that for the first pass. I'm gonna do a little more with the straight razor. This is uh, going pretty well, it feels good. Oh yeah, that <laughs> oh, feels so good to have my skin back here, have that freshly shaven. All right, back to the brush here, just reapplying a little bit of lather. You don't have to go crazy when you're applying lather for uh, subsequent passes after your first one because most of the hair is gone, so you already have direct contact with your skin here. There we go. All right, second pass, going to go to the right side of my face. Get going. I'm just going to stay with the grain here. Definitely just cut myself there. Laid that thing in a little too steep. I don't think it's that bad, but 
feel that immediately. You can see out there, just a little cut, nothing too bad. Definitely cut myself worse with a straight razor before. Um, I'm going to just dry this off quickly here so I can put it away. I'm going to switch to my safety razor now. Um, definitely hit my comfort level with the uh, straight. Alright, back to the brush here. Still has plenty of lather in it. Happy with this selection for today's shave. Alright, I'm going with my Gillette Super Speed here with the Persona blade in here. I did one, uh, one shave with this blade before. Not a full shave. Alright, setting my sideburns. Wow, this is such a different shaving experience from the straight. Alright, so I gotta decide what to do with this mustache. I wanna keep something here, but I don't know how much to keep. Just adding in a little bit of lather here, I'm just grabbing out the top of my brush. I'm going to just keep my mustache at that for now. I don't know how much I'm going to keep on there, but you can always take off more later. So I'm, let's see what I think about this. I'm going to leave it like that for now. All right, I'm going to do some cross grain here, clean up passes here on my face. Alright, see what I think here. First of all, my cheeks and chin feel amazing. Oh, God, it feels so good to have that facial hair off. My neck, wow. Feels so weird touching skin again after it's been so long. Alright, I gotta clean up these edges, so I'm just gonna come in close here with my safety razor.
Alright guys, well I think I'm happy with this. Um, I'm going to still play around a little bit here. It's just some corners I want to clean up and make these lines a little bit straighter. But that's going to take me a little while just because I wanna, want this to be as good as, per, as I possibly can make it um, for work tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm just going to get cleaned up afterwards for my aftershave. I already set out some uh, Captain's Choice North. And then I'm going to be finishing with the uh, Soap Commander Integrity Balm. So that's what I'll be using here at the end. Um, just have to clean this up and make sure whenever you use a safety or rather a straight razor, you got to clean this thing up when you're done with it. I make sure it's perfectly dry and I make sure it's nice and oiled down so that it doesn't rust. I just put a little bit of olive oil on there and then store it and you should be good to go. Well anyway guys, I'm excited to be back and please stay tuned. There's going to be lots of videos to come. i got lots of really awesome products I'm very eager to use. As always, thank you for watching.